Hey, what's up, everybody? Coming at you with Sasquatch Built Training with the one and only Natalie Willoughby. Natalie, say what's up to everybody. Okay, so Natalie's on my 18 gold team. She is my catcher. She controls the running game. She controls the pitching staff, which isn't easy. We love you pitchers, but ah, you're not difficult, right? No. Okay, hey, so one thing that we love about Natalie is her war cry. Natalie, you got to do it for the camera. Okay, hey, when she strikes somebody out, we get that, and I love it. Ah, I love it. Okay, hey, so what we're going to focus on with Natalie today is her ability to throw and control the running game. You do it at a very high level, Natalie, which I love dearly. Okay, but it doesn't come easy because we work our tail off. And Natalie lives about two hours away from our training facility. So she does a lot of this work on her own at home. Okay, uh, she has loving parents who force her to do a lot of work, don't they? Yeah. But it's all out of love. So, hey, we're going to walk you step by step. If you want to throw better, okay, we're going to teach you how to do that. Now, uh, it's super important that we talk to you about a couple concepts. One is... Okay, our way isn't the, the only way to do it. So what I like to do, especially with Natalie and the other girls here that train as far as catchers go, we're going to teach you all ways. We're going to teach you how to throw off your knees, throw standing up, and work on your footwork too. You never know who you're going to play for and how they like you to catch, okay? And also, I want to make sure that we just don't do one way because we got rise balls, we got drops, we got curves, we got screws, okay? And it, it all dictates what pitch dictates what you're going to do as far as footwork goes and whether you go off on your knee. Okay. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to show you her power drills because she is a stud, and she gets after it Sasquatch style. Okay, so Nats, do me a favor. Will you put on your weighted vest? So now you don't have to put on your weighted vest early, but for Natalie, she's advanced in her training. She is very, extremely strong. She trains hard. So we're going to add 20 pounds to what she's doing just so she can feel her legs and isolate them because we talked about that in the past episode. It's all about your legs and everything you do with catching. We want to isolate. Okay, so now <clears throat> Natalie's going to take this med ball. She's going to do it standing up now, okay? You're going to see her footwork, okay? And then she's going to throw the med ball, all right? So let me get on this side of you. Why don't you go over here just a sec? There you go. Yep, and then um, when you do it, do your footwork. Show them how to do it. Now, what she's going to do is she's just going to show you how to get warmed up doing it. So go super slow and just show them one way to do it. So she's going to do her jump shift, boom, and then she's going to broad jump and throw it. Good. That's fantastic. Now, here's the deal. I want you to do like 10 of these warm up, okay? So first of all, you're just feeling your legs, all right? Now, we're going to do it as a workout. So show them what full speed looks like getting after it. Jump shift, explode. Boom. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So now, like I said, get, get your heart rate going. Throw that thing. Don't throw it weak sauce style. Get after it like a Sasquatch. Right, Nats? If Nats not throwing it hard, like I get after, okay? So now we're going to go here. So Nats, now do me a favor. Show them now. This is when we go down on our knees, okay? So she's going to cross over with her left knee, and she's going to push off her backside. The biggest thing is, is when we go into throwing, you're going to see that she's going to turn her shoulders Okay, to get squared up towards second. So this is how we're going to incorporate it in the med ball. So go ahead and get in your stance. Left knee is going to cross over the front of her body. She's going to turn, and then she's going to push off. Go for it. Boom. Awesome. Like I said, get warmed up, and then turn it into a training exercise also. Okay? Go full speed here. We like to do about 10 reps in this drill right here. Go ahead. Turn sideways. Boom. Awesome. Good. Okay. Now, go ahead and incorporate. Let's do one with the footwork. Okay? So you're going to stay up, pretend this is a rise ball, get over there, Nats, just for a sec. I'm going to actually toss this to her, okay, and she's going to do her footwork, and then she's going to get up and throw it just like that, okay? So here we go. Jump shift, boom, jump. Good, awesome. Good, okay? Now, let's do, hey, pretend it's a drop ball. All right, we're going to stay down, stay low on your knees, and push off. Boom. Good. That's fantastic right there. Okay, so the whole idea is this is here at Sasquatch School, the biggest thing is, is like we like to train in high stress atmosphere because in a game, like Natalie, we have to calm her down because she's so amped and jacked up, okay? But that always doesn't translate to like you rush things, right? Then mechanics get off and then our arm drags and everything like that. So we like to push here hard. So when we do the fine-tuned training and the, and the technique, okay, she knows how to do it with an elevated heart rate, okay? So hey, Nats, go ahead and get in your stance right here. Go ahead and move over to that side and then, okay, now, when we do this right here, okay, Nats, we're going to just start working our hands. Go left knee down, okay, just get real comfortable. Okay, we're going to start working on our hands. So we did the power drills. We're warmed up. 
Natalie's heart rate's up a little bit, so we're going to calm it down just a hair, okay? So now, the biggest thing for us is just work on the soft hands. Now, same thing. Two types of catching, right? Nice and soft, catch inside your body, elbow out, or we go out and go around, okay? Natalie can do both. Natalie, just show us like this nice, easy, soft receive. Boom, okay? Now go out, let's go outside pitch and get around it. Boom, fantastic. So this isn't our receiving one. We'll have those episodes coming later. But the biggest thing is, is like it all translate into your transfer. And that's what we're going to work on right now so we can control the running game, okay? So like I said, I just teach Natalie how to do catching all different ways because she's going to play at a major university, whatever that coach wants her to do. She's going to know how to do it. And we're not going to say anything about it except, yes, coach. Because mm -hmm. coach is always right. Okay, so Nats, do me a favor, okay? You catch this, let's just start with our training drill. Okay, start with the tennis ball in her hand. Okay, she's just gonna transfer it to her throwing hand and she's just gonna get the hands going. Okay, you're gonna notice her eyes. Okay, she's gonna really focus on the ball. Okay, and her transfer, okay, here we go. Boom, that was awesome, good job. Okay, hold that ball, left hand, okay, transfer. Boom, okay. Boom, awesome. One more, awesome, fantastic. Hey. Now, like, same thing. You want to do, like, basically, like, three sets, ten reps. Okay, really get this going. Really get the hands going. Okay, I'm just going to do this for demonstration, so we're going to go there. So, Nats, go ahead and give me the ball. Okay, so we work on that. Now we're going to go to one ball. You're basically, your hand's going to be a hinge. All we're going to try to do is just deflect. Okay, right now. Okay, so you're just going to defect, deflect, boom. Natalie always makes fun of my speech because I get so amped myself, I don't even know how to talk. And then I combine two words and I sound like a clown. Good. Okay. Deflect. Boom. Awesome. One more. Boom. Fantastic. Okay. So, hey, it's like I said, three sets, ten reps. Same exercise. Okay. Now Natalie's going to get her shoulders involved and everything's going to go through. Okay. She's going to go here, get turned. Okay. The left knee's going to cross over. She's going to cheat. Boom. And get momentum going. Everything's a rhythm when we catch, baby. Here we go. Go through the full thing. Boom, awesome. Boom, good. Okay, so now, okay, so she's warmed up and everything like that. I'll go, now let's go full speed. So hey, we're gonna go full speed and just that. Show them how quick you are, baby. Here we go, just quick, go. Boom, fantastic. One more. Boom, awesome, good job. Okay, so hey, so now she's got her hands all warmed up. Everything's good there. So now, we're going to talk about her footwork, okay? And I'm going to show you guys how to figure out where you guys' feet should land according to your body. Now, Natalie, okay, she's tall, she's strong, and she's going to be a little bit more spread out. She has an absolute cannon as an arm, okay? So her feet have to get out of her way, all right? That's the biggest thing. Now, if you're shorter, more compact, and you can explode out of there, then, hey, you got to take a bigger stride. But for Nat, she got to get her feet out of her way. Okay, Nat, go ahead and get into your number two. Okay, so now what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to get my tape that I had out. Okay, so this is simple. You want to go on this side here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to show the camera and everybody at home. Okay, so I got, hey, just use some duct tape. You can use some painter's tape, whatever you want to do. Okay, the biggest thing for me is that you want to see where you start from, okay? So... We're going to do here. Nat's going to get in her number two. Okay. Boom. We're going to be right here with their feet. Okay. So we like our catchers to have a little angle to them. So, hey, this left knee, this left elbow is always cleared. Okay. So she's able to receive and she doesn't ever, she's not fighting anything. Okay. Now, when we do this tape is so, you got to be a Sasquatch just to get this tape. Okay. So now when we talk about throwing with footwork, we want to make sure that we're staying directional towards second base, just like this. So go ahead, like, you know, the thing with, like, Nats does on her own, she needs to have, make sure that you have a map on the floor so you know where your footwork is going. So what we do right here is you get a diagram on the ground, and then she's just going to do her footwork. I'll get on this side so everybody can see what we're doing. Okay, so just do your footwork. Go rise ball. Okay, we're throwing the second base. Boom, just like that, okay? Now, what you do at home is you take this piece of tape, and you just put it where that plant foot is, Okay. Now, Natalie's arm is already warmed up, so that's one thing is, is like, make sure your arm's loose before you do all this other stuff. And so, the biggest thing for me is that Natalie's going to stay in her base, okay? I'm going to give her a ball, and she's going to throw it. So, Natalie, go ahead and throw it. I get it? Boom. Okay, awesome. Now, as you guys noticed, Natalie took an extra step, okay, out of her stance, okay? 
So in theory, Natalie didn't like where he, she first originally landed with that front foot. So she does this often. She thinks she likes to step here, but honestly, she likes to get out there. Okay, so Nats, go back and get in your stance. Okay, so now this is where the training comes in. Okay, so now she's going to go right foot directional, stay towards second base, and then her front foot's going to land where she's stronger. So go ahead, just do a couple. Boom. Awesome. Okay, go back. Do it again. Awesome. And it's almost like a bulletproof idea because you get in your legs and then you throw it and then we can measure how hard you can throw and how accurate you are. And then that's where you want to be in your legs. Okay. So, hey, like Natalie, she has a cannon. So she's going to get her feet up and down and out of the way. For you guys that are smaller and more compact and you got to get a little bit more ground, then you guys explode out a little bit further. But us two, we're not known for our speed. <laughs> But we're power, baby. That's all it cares about. Okay. So, Nats, go ahead and get here. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to softballs. Okay. So, we went from tennis balls, and now we're going to go to softballs. Okay. So, now the biggest thing is, is I'm going to throw the Nats. Okay. Now, Nats, let's go back to your left knee down. Okay. So, we got our footwork out of the way. So, now we're just going to get our hands warmed up to the softball. Okay. So, hey, just receive a couple. Now, bent elbow. Nice and easy. Nice and soft. Boom. Good. We're gonna get a coach that's gonna want you to catch the ball inside your body, boom, okay? Now, let's go outside, get around it. Go get extended, boom, awesome. Let's do one more, get extended, boom. And like I said, you know, just, just start throwing balls. Get used to being soft and then going out and get it. Like I said, each coach is gonna be different in what you wanna do. Okay, now grab this one. Okay, so now she's gonna transfer. Now we're gonna get the hands warmed up and the transfer all loosened up, okay? So she's gonna switch, boom, awesome, switch. Boom, look at her eyes, she's looking everything in. Exaggerate the eyes, because if you can't see her, if you're not looking at it, you don't have a chance. Boom, fantastic, okay. Nats, go ahead and give me the ball, babe. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna go to deflection with the, with the softball all together. Okay, ready? Deflect, boom, deflect, awesome. One more. Dang, girl. Okay, hey, now, don't think you're gonna look like Natalie like first time out of the shoot. Like, this is trained, okay? so. At Sasquatch School, you've been here for a long time. So you're not going to wake up and look like Natalie or be like Natalie. But if you put in the time and work, you still might not get there. But you'll get closer. Okay, so go ahead. Now, Nats, we're going to actually do our footwork this time. Okay, so we're going to say, hey, pretend this is a rise ball. Okay, so go ahead and do your footwork and then your transfer, okay? Now, make sure you land on your map on the floor. Okay, here we go. Boom, awesome. Do it again, Okay. Just show the people how we're going to say directional. Boom. Fantastic. And like I said, she has that weighted vest on. She's just using her legs, okay? Nats, let's go ahead and just go to the ground now. This is a drop or a low fastball, okay? Low outside curve. Okay, she's going to go down to her knee. Boom. Fantastic. Okay, let's do it again. Boom. That is, hey, so that, that's exactly like, that's the progression. Start with the tennis ball. Move into the softball. Start with your legs and everything like that. So, Nats, go ahead and take off your weighted vest. Go ahead and put, get, get fully suit up and get ready to rock. Okay, so one thing that's beauty here at Sasquatch School is that we have a hit tracks, okay, that can monitor the throws and everything like that, which is fantastic because it gives us instant feedback. We want to know if we're getting faster and all that stuff like that. And then one thing it also monitors is our transfer, right? So the biggest thing with that is that we want a quick transfer, but she's going to throw extremely fast out of the chute. Okay, so now we're going to switch up. You want to set up over here, and then I'm going to get on this side right here. Now, Nats, do me a huge favor when you do your footwork and everything like that, okay? Don't hit my camera, because I don't want you to do that. Does that make sense to you? Okay, so let's just show home, put it all together. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to throw from your knees, okay? And you're going to hit that upper corner right over there, because we're going to pretend, and then people are going to see kind of the hit tracks theme, okay? Here we go. Ready? Fantastic. Good job. One more. Boom. Okay. Now, if you're smarter than a Sasquatch, you'd actually put it on the softball mode because I had a baseball guy in this last one, and I didn't switch it. So, Nats, good job, man. You can throw major league players out. Okay. So, hey, so now we got it on softball. Now, you're going to notice Nats is going to probably be in the one sevens. Okay. That's fast. Okay. So Nat, let it rock. Let's just show what the pot time is here. Go. Fantastic. That was beautiful. 
Okay, that one didn't read because I'm sitting in front of the camera. Let's shoot back one more. Okay, here we go. Quick. Boom. Fantastic. Okay, so that was a 180. Beautiful. Okay, next. Now, we got rise ball, okay? So now she's going to go to her feet, okay? Show us how it's done. Here we go. Boom. Fantastic. Good job. Let's go one more. Footwork, second base. Yeah, cannon. Good job. Okay, that's fantastic. So that's exactly what we want to do. We're going to do the progression. Now, the last thing that we're going to do right now. Okay, so let's just walk back through. So the biggest thing is, is that she did, she did the med ball, right? Then we slowed it down, right? And then we work on her hands with the tennis balls and get the fine little details out. Okay, then we switch to softballs. We got the footwork done, everything like that. So my last thing I like to do is turn up the pitching machine and act more realistic of what we're trying to do. So that's, I'm gonna go fire up the pitch machine. We'll catch a couple, we'll do a couple transfers and then we'll throw, and then you're done with the video. And you're probably gonna end up being famous and gain a lot of followers, because I have a million fans. You don't believe me? I believe me. Thank you. Okay, here we go. All right, so hey, we don't need to throw like 68 miles an hour at them. We're just gonna get it all fired up. Okay, next. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna work on your receiving. Let's just catch one, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to go your knee down and just work on a transfer, okay? And then we'll throw one from our knee and then we'll throw one up top and then we'll be done, okay? Okay, here we go, you're just receiving, here we go. Fantastic, okay. Now, cheat with your left knee, really work on that transfer, shoulder in the shoulder turn, get all squared up, okay? Here we go. Awesome, okay? Now, from your knee right here, go ahead and throw it, okay? Here we go. Okay, now that was amazing, and don't think you're ever gonna do that at home without training, okay? So Nats, now we got a rise ball, okay? So now go to your feet, okay? Because you're making an adjustment on the throw and the pitch that was called, and we're gonna control the running game. Here we go. Fantastic, good job. All right, so hey, now, that's the whole progression right there from start to finish on how to be amazing thrower. Now, here's the psychological stuff behind it. When Natalie plays, okay, what happens is, is there's a fear of running, right? Because you don't want to get thrown out and look like a clown, which we make girls do often, okay? Now, our team, we like to have a track meet out there and really expose, uh, expose bad catching, okay? Because, like, that's what makes, all, I'm just fumbling over my words right now, I'm going to Think about what I'm saying. Okay, the whole idea is, is when she throws that first girl out, it sends fear to the other team that they can't run. It slows the whole game down on their offense, which is fantastic. So, anyways, Natalie, tell them goodbye. Bye. Okay, we love you. Sasquatch built. Peace. Damn, man, we killed it. Tell the